sure. From the rarity one, I think. Sure. Um, you know, to be honest, uh, I didn't have a lot of experience doing any kind of public speaking mm -hmm. uh, until I got into my career, and mm -hmm. then uh, it kind of evolved over time. Uh, I would say that I've never been uh, truly the the outgoing kind of person that was just natural to, mm -hmm. you know, being in front of a group of people and, mm -hmm. and, and that, and I would say uh, over time, uh, my comfort level has gotten better, uh, and uh, I think it has a lot to do with too being comfortable with the whatever material that I might be speaking to. You know, if it's new material, I'm not as as comfortable. Um, you know, because a lot of what I do is uh, presenting to different groups about uh, JRA and parole and. Um, and depending on the audience, sometimes there's a lot of questions, and so I'm very comfortable with, you know, I, I know juvenile justice inside and out. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's some newer material, then, you know, it's, mm -hmm. the anxiety, I think, can be there a little bit. And so uh, I, I just think over the, over the years, um, I've gotten more and more comfortable with it, and as I've done it, I've become more comfortable with the idea of, of speaking and, uh, so no matter what the material, I'm still pretty comfortable. You know, I, I know in that moment that in, in the way I've had to do my presentations and speaking has been in front of groups that is looking to me as the expert. And so, you know, when they have that perception of you, you're able to talk about, you know, it, 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 it not, you know, fudge it, but you can, you, you know, you, you, can, you can get through it and they wouldn't know that you're, you know, tr scrambling for the information or, you know, that kind of stuff. And so uh, that, that always helps too, so.